Hi everyone, this is Josie from First the Coffee Crochet. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make the combo stitch dish towel. To make this dish towel, you're going to need a number four medium weight cotton yarn. And this pattern does use two colors, but you can use one if you want to. You'll also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle to weave in ends, and some scissors. There's a written pattern for this dish towel on my website, and that'll have all the information you need for the step-by-step -step directions and materials needed to make this. And I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. To start out, you'll want to create a foundation chain of 50. If you wanted to change the width of the dish towel, you can do so by changing the multiple that you use on the foundation chain. It would just need to be a multiple of three plus two. The finished size of this dish towel is 18 inches long by 12 inches wide. Once you have your foundation chain, starting in the second chain from the hook, you just want to do a single crochet. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And we're just going to do this in each chain all the way across. After you've completed row one, just turn your work and you want to chain two. This does not count as a stitch. And we'll be working in this first stitch to start off. And all in one stitch, we're going to want to do a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. We'll do one single crochet, one half double crochet. And one double crochet. After this, you skip two stitches and do the same thing in this third stitch single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Skip two stitches again and then do the same single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And we're just going to do this all the way across the row. Skip two stitches, then do the three stitch combo in the next stitch. Once you reach the end of the row and you have three stitches left, in this last stitch, we won't do the combo of stitches. We will just be doing one single crochet stitch. Then just turn your work. Chain two again. For the next row, you'll be starting in this first stitch again. And again, do single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. Skip two stitches, and then do the same thing in the third stitch here. Single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. And again, once you get to the end of this row, the last stitch will be just one single crochet. You're going to continue to repeat this through row seven. When you get to the end of row seven, don't complete your last single crochet stitch because we will be changing colors at that point. At the end of row seven, for the last single crochet, insert your hook and pull up a loop. You want to stop at that point and grab your second color. You'll still have the final yarn over and loop to pull up for that last single crochet. So just put your second color on your hook and hold the end of your first color down and just pull your second color through both of the loops on your hook. Right 
for the next three rows, and that's rows eight, nine, and 10, we're gonna be doing half double crochets. So you wanna chain one, turn, and this does not count as a stitch. We'll be starting in this first stitch, which is yarn over and do a half double crochet in that first stitch. And we're gonna be doing a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. And we'll be doing this for the next three rows. So that's rows eight, nine, and 10. At the end of row 10, don't finish the final half double crochet because we'll be going back to our first color at that point. Yeah, at the end of row 10, start your last half double crochet and pull up a loop to where you have three loops on your hook. Grab your first color. And now we're going to switch back to the first color. So you just want to put that back on your hook and pull that first color up through that half double crochet. So now for rows 11 through 41, we're going back into doing the single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet, and then skipping two stitches. So chain two and turn your work. And you'll want to begin in this first stitch again. Just start with a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. Skip the next two stitches and then do the same in that third stitch. Just as before, the last stitch of the row will be a single crochet. So we'll just continue to do this all the way up through row 41. Okay, so apparently while filming the last part of this towel, the video got corrupted. So we're going to do the short explanation for finishing this up. You've already seen everything you need to do to finish your towel. After you've gotten through row 41 here, we're going to go back into doing the half double crochet in the second color. So when you get to the last stitch of your row 41, before you finish off your stitch, you're going to change your color and then go in and do three rows in color two of half double crochet. So that'll be rows 42, 43, and 44. At the end of row 44, you're going to change colors again back to the first color. And for rows 45 through 50, you're just going back in to doing the single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet, and then skipping two stitches. And you'll do that for each row with the last stitch in the row being a single crochet. And you'll want to chain two at the beginning of each of those rows. When you finish row 50, on row 51, you'll still be using the first color, but your last row is just a single crochet. So for row 51, you're going to chain one, and then just starting in the first stitch, do a single crochet, and then you're going to just do single crochet all the way across. When you finish this row, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends. And if you'd like, there is also a dishcloth pattern that matches this pattern, and it's the combo stitch dishcloth, and I'll leave a link for that in the description down below too. And there is also a video tutorial on that, and I'll leave that also in the description down below. Thanks for watching. And if you like these tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as new ones come out.